Students from across our area are on their way to the Robotics World Championships in Texas. Howard Monroe spoke to them about what it takes to get there. I'm so proud. Like, it's not, it's not just, yay, I get to go on a vacation. It's like, it's an achievement. Haverford High School's Team 484 RoboForce are relishing in their accomplishments, and it's for more than building their mascot, Henry. <laughs> These proud student engineers are on their way to the first robotics world championships in Houston, Texas. The entire team working on it, we've put in a lot of hours and stuff, and I feel accomplished not only with my own work, but you know my team members. But we worked extremely hard this year. It feels amazing. It's like a great comeback from last year. Last year, they made it to districts but missed out on the world championship. Despite that setback, the students stayed optimistic. And this year, they came roaring back, already winning two competitions. This will be their second time in 23 years making it to Worlds. Did you think that in the beginning of this process that you guys would be on your way down, down to Texas? Absolutely not. I didn't think we'd get to districts. But then you kept, you kept pushing forward, right? And we kept winning, so. <laughs> <laughs> And it's not just Haverford High School that's going to Houston. Central High School in Philadelphia, they're going as well. And so is Hamilton West in New Jersey. When I say 24, you say 95. 24! 95! This is the first time for Team 2495, the hive mind from Hamilton West High School, to go to Worlds. In robotics, it's more, it's not about how smart you are or how strong you are. It's more about um, how well you can work with other people. As they pack their gear to go to Houston, their coach says the team's tenacity is about more than just building robots. Those are the things that we're instilling in our students to go make a difference, make a positive impact in the world. The competition begins April 19th. Howard Monroe, CBS News, Philadelphia.